Here in Nantes, France, I'm going to be taking the TER 200, the Interwar, changing a Blois, a normal train that takes me to Austerlitz in Paris instead of the TGV, which would take me to Montparnasse, saving me a couple of uh, euros here and there, and also make a more convenient connection, avoiding the two necessary changes which I would have had to done had I gone in through Montparnasse. This is the evening train from uh, France to uh, Barcelona. The evening train, an old-timey Talgo, goes to Barcelona, Franza, and not Barcelona Saints, where the connecting service for the next day would be better. And uh, the possibility is you can take a Cercania local train from Barcelona, Franza. Here at the uh, French-Spanish border at Seber, or Sebere if you like, there's always a pause, uh, maybe to smoke, as they move the engine from that side, the front, to the rear, where they're going to push it through in order to make the change from French to Spanish rail gauge. This is the high-speed Ave train from uh, Barcelona to Madrid and also to the south. It takes three different classes of service. Uh, the second class is called Tourist, marked with a T, and the first class is called Preferente, 13 and a half euros more. Here's a plan of Barcelona with one of the two trains to and from France going to appropriately Stasal Franza, and there's Saints, which uh, connects to the rest of the trains in Spain, and there's Catalonia, which you can get with a either Metro or the Catalonia private train, but notice the, the tickets are valuable on the other line. More convenient is the Paseo de Gracia, which you can get with a Cercania service to and from Franza and Saints. Spain now uses magnetic stripe ticketing, unlike the past, and interestingly they now charge a 25 euro cent surcharge, a tax if you will, if done in Spain, which does not appear as nor charged outside of Spain for the same reservations. We're now pulling into Cannes, France during the Cannes Film Festival with today's guest William Defoe, Robert Zemeckis, Jim Carrey, and a cast from Slumdog Millionaire. Oh, I must be saying that is the word cast without the letter E. There are the towns in southern part of France, especially those including Antibes, my favorite Mentone, and that of Rick Steves, and Villefranche Silbert. Watch it, there's a lot of Villefranche, meaning tax-free. As we're changing the engine here at the French-Italian border on one of the very few trains that connect Nice to Genova, Genoa, Gen in French and Milan, I'm struck by the similarity to the French train connecting to Barcelona and that it's full of naive tourists, full of a lot of misinformation. Well, I'm ready to board the boat train to Syracuse and Catania, leaving here in Napoli, and for the first time you're able to make it on a day trip from Milan using the Alta Velocita, departing at 7.30 from Milan. Well, there's a first for everything. This boat that gets quickly off and on the boat here in Messina is uh, blocked and uh, has to have higher priority because it's still partly on the boat. Well, this is the third time I've broken down in a train in Italy. A uh, train has broken down also once for me in France and Belgium and Germany. Complete with dining card, the inner city train, not an inner city plus, which does require reservations. This one does not and runs all the way from Napoli starting at 1024, Rome at 1244, and if you start from Milan, it's at 11 a.m. This is the new Alta Velocita Italian train called the Red Arrow, Breccia Rossa. With a nice juxtaposition of the Eurostar Italia, be it either 15 or 20 euros more, with that horrible airplane seating, yes, you do get a candy bar and a newspaper, we're going to be taking the inner city, not the plus, that's mandatory reservations, with the inner city, some of them, no reservations, do sit in seats 70 or 80 or 90. Here in Milan, where they're now using less confusing native language terms for the cities, I'm going to be going to uh, Munich via Zurich, which does not show in the Eurail guide. I can leave a little bit later, get there a little bit earlier than the ones available. Also, better service and or better pricing for the supplements. Here in Regensburg, this uh, Alex train going to uh, Prague will be separated, geteilt, and we have to move to the appropriate section. In this case today, the last four car. Here at the German-Czech border, Furt involved will be changing the engines as we enter the Czech Republic. 
Now using the Eurail Pass, if it's global, for the first time valid in 2009 in, as the Germans call it, Czechian. As we're running late on this train coming from uh, Nuremberg and Munich to Prague, and the likelihood that we're going to miss the super city service relation in Prague, another reason to take the non-reservation train, saving the seven euro supplement, as well as avoiding that fiat airplane seating. As is the case in Eastern Europe generally, the numbers are not for tracks but for platforms. Therefore, you have two trains for each one. Here in Vienna, Wien, Wieden, or Besch, if you're several Croat, the Sud station, sometimes called the Ost station, does connect to the east. The West station does connect to the west as well as to the southwest. And according to the Austrian well site, is nominally connected by the tedious number 18 tram. You can connect it through the metro system with a couple of stops or midling Philadelphia Brooke using the tram. The Hudeldorf connection is no longer available for high-speed trains. Here at the main train station, Bratislava, or what the Germans call Pressburg, at Halave Stazenica, the main station, we arrived uh, using the rail pass, although it's not valid in the rest of uh, Slovakia. So to get to Bratislava from uh, Bahnhof Sud here in Vienna, one way is via Marcheg, and another one, which we'll be doing from the Petra Zialka station, is via Bruck on the Leiter. This is the new Austrian railjet service, uh, slowly and progressively replacing each respective Eurocity train with the same train numbers. It has an airplane feel to the inside, which I'm a little nonplussed about, and no reservations are needed in the German-Austrian stretch. This is what second class looks like in the new railjet service here in Austria and Germany, and also in Hungary. And here's what first class looks like in the railjet service. With satellite mapping, the railjet provides a location of instantaneous liberty where you are. Do note that connecting service from Barcelona to Sao França is with the number two line, the dark green one here. And of course, you wouldn't be able to pick this up uh, before going, but you could refer to the Renfi.es site and look for the second year service for Barcelona, connecting through Saints and also Sieges as well as these other stops. I'm here in Hamburg, Germany, going to Brussels, Belgium. The Eurail guide suggests taking the 946 connecting through Cologne to get the ICE German reservation free service to Brussels from Cologne. They suggest the 946, which is an ordinary IC train, and is rather full at times. I'm going to be taking instead the 1001 connecting through Hanover. A little faster, better train. From Brussels to Amsterdam, the inner city service, which avoids up to 20 euro surcharge using the Talus, has the one glaring problem worse than any other train in Europe, and that is they do not announce nor blow the whistle before the doors close. And with uh, treacherous conductors and dangerous doors, be forewarned. By taking this uh, hour earlier train, TGV, from Brussels to Aeroport Charles de Gaulle, changing to RER to get to Paris, I'm saving again 8 to 20 euros instead of the Talus. This one's nicer because it's 40 minutes faster, no stop in Lille. Here at TGV Charles de Gaulle, be mindful that there are really two sets of lines, one to the left for the RER to pick up your free ticket uh, to Paris, that's to Lyon or no, ask for a compte mark. One of the rights for the TGV. This is the express train, uh, the Kroll. Also look for the Elke coming back. You tell the express train because the next stop after uh, Aeroport Charles de Gaulle is Gardenau. In Paris is Gare Lyon, which is preferred over Est and Nord because uh, in one they closed two of their additional uh, ticket counters and the other is just, well, frankly incompetent and racist. Here at the Gare Lyon, downstairs is yet another set of ticket counters with almost no line. As is often the case on many TGVs here in France, the availability for reservations for pass holders is very limited. I would have gone on the uh, Frankfurt version. You'll see it here at the bottom. I'll be instead taking the Strasbourg making the connection to Offenburg, saving anywhere from 3 to 17 euros and going first class instead of second class. Yes, I'll miss the meal.